Count money, man. Money, Stack man. riches. Trying to try told, try told him I'm a beast, I'm bud. A What's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode of the Grindcast. Get ready. It's a new day. Uh, shout out to Tanner Astarina, uh, who DM'd me uh, a message and was asking for something along the lines of, of a message for uh, us. And so I started to get the title of, of your presence with a purpose, having a presence with linked with a purpose. Because uh, until your thoughts are linked with purpose, there's no intelligent accomplishment. They with no central purpose in their life fall an easy prey to petty worries, fear, troubles, and self-pity, which lead to failure, unhappiness, and loss. Now, you guys know I'm not that poetic, so that wasn't myself uh, talking about that. That was a quote that I read from a book that I've been reading. And, you know, basically, if, if, if you're zoned in on a purpose— it, it makes a lot of the things in your journey that has to be done. You know, one of the uh, mentors that I have in my life that is uh, close to being a billionaire and, and is a very, just a great person, great individual I'm blessed to always gain wisdom from, uh, always reminds me to be grateful. And he always, you know, changes the verbiage all the time if, if myself or others say we got to. And he just always make sure that my mind is on we get to we get to we get to because there's things in the process of going to where you want to go that you do got to do and the got to comes out when you really don't want to and if you don't do the got to you never get to do ultimately everything that you want to and I think by having your purpose set it gives you a better vision and, and ability to have an outlet of of the understanding of I get to because my purpose is set. Strengths can only be delivered through effort and practice. Another excerpt from the book. Strengths can only be delivered through effort and practice. Practice isn't always fun. Practice is a grind sometimes. As the physically weak man can make himself strong by careful and patient training. Keyword, patient training so the man of weak thoughts can make his mind strong by exercising himself in right thinking and so I just want to challenge you to look at yourself and, and ask yourself have I been thinking the right way am I am I engaged in the right thinking if so how do you know so it's easier to be negative than it is to be positive. Being negative takes no effort. I mean, you could look at kids or as people age or, or whatever. It's very easy to find people that are negative or that don't have a positive disposition. But to find people that are positive is a little bit more rare. And that's because life happens to all of us. No matter what, I, it, 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 the, the, the rain rains on the... Uh, poor and on the rich. I mean, you, you've been, if you're around people, no, nobody is protected from the game of life. Life is going to happen to all of us. Death is going to happen. Sickness is going to happen. Breakups are going to happen. Failures, backstabbing is going to happen to everybody. And so that's when you need a positive attitude is when things aren't going in the direction. It doesn't take any effort to have a positive attitude when everything is moving in a positive manner for you. When you need a positive attitude is, is when you're not, um, things aren't positive around you and you, you make the, the decision and the choice to think properly. Because failure is only one of the pathways to attaining things. It's, it's, it's temporary. You got to keep going. You know, part of failure is is that's the way that you succeed that's you have to go through the door of failure and struggle in order to succeed and and what's a challenge of of that is no matter what it's a challenge because when when you have a lot of success it success is a bad teacher success can make people lazy because you're resting upon what happened last month or what happened last week 
versus what needs to happen right now. We don't have a presence with the purpose today because we're only focused on we did a good job yesterday. That's why it's, it's, it's important to find a purpose. And I, I think you can find a purpose even if, you're, if your job was to make paper plates and your business developed paper plates. Well, you may think, well, there's, how can I say there's a big, deep purpose we're going to change people's life with, with, with paper plates? You can change people's lives with an environment decorated around paper plates, you know, that, that we can make people's life, obviously, in the, in the easy ways you understand how paper plates can make people's lives easier and better. But in your, in your world of your business, you can have a purpose of saying, I'm going to, in this organization... We'll use paper plates as something to sell and, and for people to provide for themselves. But here, we're going to develop people. My purpose is going to be able to grow this business into being a larger business because we want to donate a certain percentage of our profits. And if we're a larger business, then we can make a larger impact because we have larger amounts of income that we could give away. And so if we have large income, you can make large impact. And if, you, if you're going to make large income and large impact, that means you probably have a lot of people. And if we have a lot of people, then we can influence those people. And if we influence those people, we can influence their children. If we can influence their children, we can influence their grandchildren. If we influence those people, we may be able to influence their parents. And, and so we could change the environment around us so much because our purpose is not to just make paper plates, but our purpose is to make these people better people in the process by focusing on their goals, not just their goals of business, but their goals of their personal life, trying to develop them as people, creating an environment where people can grow themselves internally and externally. And so no matter what it is that you're doing, you got to find a way to connect yourself to the purpose because the purpose is going to keep you zoned in on bringing your best every day. And when you just like the biggest enemy of tomorrow is your yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. And so when, when that, that's why it's so hard for people to repeat after winning the NBA title or winning a winning a Super Bowl. That's it's, it's just rare because people start filling themselves. It's, it's a little bit harder to inspire yourself to go back to the grind, back to work. If you just won last week or if you just won the Super Bowl last month or if you just get, did. Some, and so the challenge is, can you bring yourself to this place of greatness that I'm bringing my best every day because I'm chasing this purpose in my in my mind and then do the exact same thing when you fail because not all days are going to be great not all quarters are going to be great quarters not all plays are going to be great plays and and I think it's the way that you bounce back and approach the next day that determines how far you're going to go not following the the typical mindset of man I did good in January we're just going to go ahead and take it easy in February no purpose no purpose, no no mission, no presence, just going through the motions, going through the motions because we're not present that day mentally because your purpose is off. And so you got to reconnect and realign yourself right now with what is my central mission? What is my central purpose that is bigger than if I did good last month, is bigger than if I did bad last month? I'm going to consistently show up and bring my best every day after I've achieved success, after I've, I've achieved greatness. And I think if, if you come back, that's why you read a lot of books and they'll tell you how important it is to see your goals, write your goals down, write things down, have daily affirmations. These are all not things that are new to anybody listening today. And, and the reason for that, I think, is it brings you back every day to your central mission and central purpose. It, it ends your day with your mind focused on that. It starts your day focused on that because if, if you're breathing, you need encouragement. You know, you, you heard people say, um, you've heard people say, well, motivation doesn't work. It's only temporary. And that's true. But so is bathing. So is brushing your teeth, and we recommend both of those things every day, don't we, Alyssa and Josh? We, we, we're going to need you folks to brush your teeth every day, at least once. should be two, three times. We're going to need you to bathe, take a shower, keep clean every day. Can't say, well, I did that three days ago. Motivation is the exact same thing. You have to constantly recenter and, and repurpose yourself 
in the midst of the grind, in the midst of the struggle, because it's it's wearing, it's 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 a lot. You know, just to live is a lot, and so we have to focus on gratitude of all the things that we do have versus all the things that we don't have. Number one, but you have to recenter and realign yourself with your mission and your purpose on a daily basis. You know, how many how many people do you see? Is it you that you just go through the motions? Or you know you're in a funk and you're just going through the motions. You're not bringing out your best. You're not bringing out what's truly deep inside of you on a daily basis. And 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 so I think that's the calling. The calling is to check yourself and say, all right, coming into coming into this new year, we're we're getting ready to 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 start a new right new year, new me. Everybody says that, right? The best way to have a good year at the end of the year is to start with having a good day. The best way to, to, to have a good day is start with aligning yourself with my mission and purpose and being present, focused on those 24 hours that you got today. However long you're supposed to be zoned in today, focusing on today, and today will take care of tomorrow. So that's my, that's my message for you guys. Stay present. Stay zoned in. Make sure you bring your purpose with you every day. And uh, thanks for joining us on another episode of the Grindcast. Get ready. It's a new day. Yeah.